The month of October would be the last time some of the Franklin seniors would play their sports. This is their story. Football and the teammates a whole bunch. Just the friendships I've made through football and just football itself are awesome. Football's all I do. I played three sports coming into high school and then it ended up just staying with football because I love it so much. And It's just how we've gone from Two seasons of 0 and 9 to what we've gained, gone to now, it's just, it's pretty amazing what we've done and just seeing everything and making all the friends and all that is it's pretty awesome. I'm Taylor Cawthorn here with Chandler Plouffe, cornerback for the Franklin Eagles. What does it mean to you to be a senior? It means a lot because all the younger kids on our team have to look up to me and stuff and they follow my example on the field and off the field. How does it feel to have played your last home game? Uh, it was really upsetting because especially we didn't get the turnout we wanted uh, and because like there's not a great chance that we could be playing on that same field again I played on for two years. What has your favorite memory been for playing football? Uh, my favorite memory is probably just playing with our senior group. Uh, we're all one for all and all for one and we got a bunch of hard workers on our team and it's taken us a long way the past couple of years. And our grade has shown, and what the grade under us has shown, we work hard, we put put effort in in each game, not just games and practice, and I think that underclass will be able to look up and see our work ethic and be able to take part in that. I'm here with senior football player Maurice Knight. So, first question, what has been your favorite memory of this football season? How good we have gotten throughout the season and how close we all have gotten. All right, your second question. Are you confident with leaving your role to the younger classmen? Yes, I'm very confident. I think that there's a lot of young talent, and if they keep working, they will get better and better. That same year, Jack Rogers, the punter for the Franklin football team, would become a small celebrity after a terrific punt that went from end zone to end zone. The punt was covered by ESPN and NFL news outlets, which caught the attention from Indianapolis kicker Pat McAfee and Reggie Wayne. How do you feel about ESPN and NFL Twitter's handles um, covering your punt? It's pretty crazy. I never thought it was going to blow up like it did. I kind of thought it would just be the Weather Channel and maybe some small things, but then it just kind of got into bigger hands and blew up. How do you feel about Reggie Wayne and Pat McAfee uh, responding to your punt? Those are both pretty cool just because of how great Reggie Wayne was as a Colt and just as a football player in general. And Pat McAfee was my favorite of everything. That was all I really wanted after it. I wanted Pat McAfee to say something, and he did. So that was pretty cool. And just the fact that he's such a great punter, best punter in the game, and future Hall of Famers. Awesome. Did you receive a lot of hate and or love about your punt? I received a lot of love and hate, actually. A lot of the hate was from kids from surrounding schools that I wouldn't actually expect to do that, but it's whatever. And a lot of the love, everyone gave me love. The community gave me a lot. Friends, family, teachers, students, everybody gave me love, and it was pretty awesome. Around this time, the tennis seniors also ended their season. Ethan Blake, I'm Keegan Person. And you guys are seniors on the tennis team, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Senior. Okay. So, what's your favorite memory from tennis? Go ahead, Ethan. Favorite memory from tennis? Probably the time I was uh, in practice getting ready to hit a ball and I uh, got stung by a bee under my shirt and uh, threw my tennis racket up in the air and almost broke it. Sounds Open like a painful ball. memory. Why is it your favorite? Because it was pretty funny. It was funny. Because I kind of freaked out and I was like, ugh. And then just kind of went crazy. Okay, and then how do you guys feel about graduating and then leaving the legacy of the tennis team to the underclassmen. I feel great. Yeah, I, don't I, know think, about you. I think it's in great Think hands. the team's in good I hands? Oh, I yeah. think the team is in great hands. Great hands. I think that we, uh, we've we showed them, you know, how to, how to do things. Yeah, how to show them the ropes this how year. How to conduct themselves. I think they're going to. In public. Yeah, I think they're going to be able to handle it. Especially Cameron Clubunder. He should be Columbia. able to goof it up. That would be the last time most of the seniors would play their sports again. And now, for an inside look of Frankton, Indiana. We worked a hard on this job. We ate our corn off the cob. We were proud young Americans. Ooh, yeah. 
Oh, hello there. I didn't see you there. My name's Evan, and boy do we have a show for you. This message is brought to you by the Wayne County Amateur Golfing Facility. Hi, I'm Pat, and I'm an amateur golfer. This is my friend Hickory. And we got a little tutorial for you. Now starting off, it's all about your swing. You gotta get your knees nice and low. And you gotta... Try not to drop your hat, though. Now I'm gonna have Hickory show you how you hit, how you hit the ball. Oh, nice shot, Hickory. So Hickory, you, you gotta hit the ball. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you how it's done, Hickory. <laughs> it may be raining, but that doesn't discourage me from coming out here and supporting Dale Jr. this weekend at Talladega. Hello, my name is Ryan Gleason. I'm here with local resident Justin Fisher. Hello, Justin. What's your opinion on the community? Well, I'm tired of all these people walking up and down my yard. Hey! Get off my yard! Well, hello there. I hope you enjoyed our show. I'll see you next time. We didn't slouch when we walked. We didn't cuss when we talked. We were proud young Americans. Ooh, yeah. Recently, the high school teacher, Kevin Klein, was awarded the National History Teacher of the Year Award. Something with this dedication and strive for teaching rightfully deserve. I'm Taylor Cawthorn here with Mr. Klein, history teacher at Franklin High School. How did your school and community support you through the process of getting chosen as National History Teacher of the Year? Well, I was really uh, fortunate and honored to have some great letters of recommendation from Mr. Granger and Mrs. Coriel, and I appreciated their support. Uh, obviously, the biggest support structure here at the school are the students, and uh, I'm really uh, very honored to have students who be willing to uh, vouch for me and, uh, and speak for me. And uh, uh, it was a difficult choice, but I get the opportunity to take a couple of those students with me to New York this weekend, and uh, <clears throat> I'm, excited. I'm excited for that opportunity. What has been a major factor in getting this award? Oh, the kids. There's not a single good thing that we do in the classroom or the school that isn't because we have great kids and uh, they're willing to, uh, you know, follow through on any crazy plan and an idea that I may throw at them. And um, I'm, I'm always very, very aware of how fortunate I am to work with great kids. So.